Hello, I'm John McCloskey and I live in Lancashire in the northwest of England. Welcome to my video, I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm painting a semi-abstract landscape and I'm using acrylic paints on watercolour paper. I'm using quite a big brush, it's an old one inch brush and quite a cheap one really and I also use quite a lot of paper towel and sometimes I even use wet wipes that are quite moist and can move the paint around a bit. I'm using a limited palette today. I'm using black and white and four other colours. Uh, I started off the painting using just black and now I am using yellow ochre. In addition, I will later be using ultramarine blue, burnt sienna and burgundy. And of course, titanium white. So now I'm going to use the palette knife to put pure titanium white on. No clear plan as to where this painting is going at the moment, but I will be allowing it to dry in a minute before I move on to the next stage. I'm using burgundy now, which as you can see is quite a strong colour, so I'm using the paper towel again just to thin it out and try and make it just a little bit less intense.
You can see that fingers always come in handy, as does a spray bottle just with clean water in it. And I think it's coming up to the time now when I'm going to leave the painting and let it dry again. So now I've brought in the burnt sienna and I'm using all the colours now just to see if I can play with them, have fun and just to see what effect they produce. One of the advantages of acrylic paint is that it does dry very quickly. So if you're less than happy with a part of your painting, or even the whole painting, you can simply let the painting dry and go over it all again. And of course, the good thing about painting on sheets of watercolour paper is that you can store them quite easily. Well, I feel quite happy with this painting now. It seems to have gone the way I wanted it to. And so I think it's time now to take the tape off.
I'm now using a piece of charcoal just to add a little definition, a few finishing touches uh, before I view the painting. Well, I hope you like the painting as much as I do. Perhaps you'd like to have a look at my website and some of my other paintings. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.